someone who feels really depressed, raise your hand. Give me a microphone, please. Give me a hand. He's really depressed, for God's sakes. What's your name? Bob. Bob, where are you from? Seattle. That's why you're depressed. I know. It's all the rain. All that rain, darkness. You're ruining this depression thing by laughing. That's why I know. Yeah, please go back to that depression state. Thank okay. you. Are you really depressed right now? Yeah, I just, um, um, my wife just filed for divorce yesterday. Mm, I understand. So. Um, are you sure there's not a part of you that's not ready to go? Yay! There might be. Yeah. I thought there might be a mixture in there. I saw it in your eyes. That's what I came here for. That's what you came here for. So let me just ask you this. On a zero to ten, how depressed are you? You know, when I moved out and then I wasn't able to say goodnight to my kids every night, that was pretty high. Yeah. Nine, ten. Yeah. You know. I get it. Only not selfish enough to take my life depressed. Good. Good for you. I can see you're not a selfish man. So what's happened is your life conditions don't match your blueprint. Right. Far from it right now. And he feels out of control, powerless to change it. Am I right about that or not? Right. Absolutely. So that's where depression comes from. Depression comes when your life doesn't match your blueprint and you feel powerless to change it. Well, just do it for me first. Get depressed for me. <laughs> you can't smile. That eats up the whole depression. I know. I need you to get, like, at that level nine depression, okay? Because I'm not good at this, and I need you as a role model to teach me. You nod when you're at nine. Go to nine and a half. And how many saw his body change to get to nine and a half? How many saw? What did he let go of? He took in air and let it all out. How many saw that? So you let out all the air. You let out all the energy. You let out all the life force. Now stay in that place and tell me, what do you have to focus on? We've seen the physical pattern. What do you have to focus on to be depressed? Tell me what you're focusing on right now. Separation from my kids. No, no power over, no control over it. No power, no control over it. And what do you say to yourself while you're in this state to be at a depression at nine and a half? It's my fault. What else do you say to yourself? Say it the way you say it when you're most depressed. Say it in that same tone of voice. I uh, really up. Now let me ask you a different question. Have you ever had a great orgasm? Sure. It was that good, huh? <laughs> you ever had an experience where you felt so alive and proud that you owned yourself and you owned her and you lit her up in ways she never dreamed of? Ever have one of those experiences? Yeah, sure. I want you to close your eyes and remember that moment just for a second in depth. And I want you to breathe the way you were breathing then. <laughs> now, at that point, that what were you focused on? Um, her reaction. That's right. Her reaction. Her reaction. And at the peak of that experience, what did you say? And say it the way you said it then. Were you spiritual? Like, oh God, oh God, or like, car what, did, what did you say? What did you do? You're not feeling depressed right now, are you? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying. <laughs> not right now. Are you feeling depressed right now? No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not depressed right now, ladies and gentlemen, at all. Exactly. Now, I want you to remember that, what that feels like in your body and just breathe it. And show me. That's it. There you go. Look at that physiology. Is he a different man there? Yes or no? His entire body. Look at Look at the way he is. Even, even he's got his hands in his pockets like... You. <laughs> yeah. When you think about that situation, what do you focus on to feel that 10 of power, that 9, 10 of power? You know, accomplishment. Accomplishment. Yeah. When you feel that strength, you were able to make that woman more than happy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the swagger now on his shoulders. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Balls are back on. Shelf is closed. <laughs> so right now you've shown us you can go from depressed to empowered how fast, my friends? How fast? 
How fast? In order to do it, does he change his physiology, yes or no? A little or radically, which one? Does he change his focus, yes or no? Does he change his language, yes or no? What did you say at the peak of that experience? You never answered my question. You thought I forgot. Oh, yeah. I said I'm awesome. Yes. What did she say? She passed out. <laughs> is the relationship as it was, as husband and wife, is that over now? Yes. Yes. So what does it serve to remain sad and depressed about it? Do you love her? Yes. Does she love you? I don't know. How would you know if she loved you? Uh, she does. I, I'd say she does. She cares that I'm hurting. She cares that you're hurting? Yeah. Ah, so one way is if I stay in pain, I can get a little love from her. I, I don't think I'm interested in that. I, 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 I'm not anymore now that you got your balls back. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> exactly. Ten minutes ago I was. Yes, I understand. But now I'm not. Yeah, I was here. I saw. Yeah. <laughs> right. But not anymore. No. Who was that little pussy boy I was talking to earlier? Uh, the depression. Give, him a, give him a name for me so I know who he was. <laughs> little Bobby. Little Bobby. <laughs> little Bobby. Little Ballless Bobby. Yes. Not Big Balls Bob. <laughs> Let's have a hand for Big Balls Bob, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now, you're going to sit down in a few moments, and your life won't have changed. But will it? If I change the meaning, I can change the feeling and the emotion. That's yeah. Right. So yeah, my life can change right now. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen.